Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hey, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. Hey, I'm going to show you. I'm a politics there. I'm a politics there. Woody. I'm a more focal area. What you Woody? Barungo, Barungo. Just the way you know what you are doing. Then I go over the step to the other. I charge them pen at the day. Okay. Hey. Hey. If we now go now, if we are in there, so you know, you remember the tradition. Okay. Okay. Yo, mwani kama... Yo, yes, ika la chanda chiba. Chanda chiba, alo, isha utawasa, utawasa. Kasi mtu nga chita design. Eh, ni nga chita design. Ni nga chita design. Okay. Yeah. Wena, ukuna hindi sa kiwa ni kiweza na wangu. Hmm? Ndipe neka ka? Yeah. So, mungu wa chita design, kipari wa kadati. Hmm. Wena chanda chiba, wana ndere finish ya hindi. Eh. So na papi ni fei mo ni mo ni fei mo ni 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 mo Mm. I think uh, you are also being political naive. If you think that uh, it's who is supposed to fight, ah. or, uh, you are being political naive and you have lost uh, you know, that analytical skill we know you to have. Okay. Okay. Because this okay. fight is okay. not for ECL. It's for Zambians. Yes. It's for Zambians. Muribanga. Zambians themselves. Muribanga. Zambians. Muribanga. Muribanga. Nine and the Muzambians. How many Zambians are? Nine. 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 That if you don't believe, if you believe in UKND, then everyone must believe in UKND. If you don't believe in UKND, then everyone must not believe in UKND. No, it doesn't work like that. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you have just said, you must bear in mind that you, if you believe in Edgar Lungu, you must also realize that there are those who also don't believe in Edgar Lungu. So be careful when you say yes. Zambians. Be careful when you say yes. Zambians. Yes, correct. Mm. You understand? Mm. So this fight is about Zambians who are complaining, as we are complaining, because we are all affected. Uh, okay? You and are. And the issue of. Uh, yeah. Mwana mputula mwana ndire nishaka ili mwana mputula Ok, lanteni batu mpushe kwa first guy Mwana So, on the issue of the group of the first guy H.H.P. If you choose that climate change, you can't, you know we are climate change, that's climate change under room 2015 and 2019 H.H.P. refused to say that's lack of leadership. When you are a leader, you face the problem. So what is it that uh, HH is doing to face this problem of global issues which are uh, external factors which are affecting us? What is it that he's doing? He doesn't have a solution. The man is enjoying himself. He's making money. He's making good money. Every million dollar is involved. So he doesn't have a solution. Okay? What is it that he's doing to reduce the price of fuel? He doesn't have a solution. What is it that he's doing to reduce the price of minimum? He doesn't have a solution. The man is enjoying already. He doesn't, he doesn't have a heart. 
Like you have Sagamana for a man, do I say Sawa got all wrong with him? That's the fact. And this is why we are saying this man has to go. Okay? This man has to go. That's end of a solution. Even at the global level, it's lack of leadership. Look at the way they have handled Russia and Ukraine war. Okay. Thank you. I think I got I, I think we got your point. Hello? 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 Yes, Mkosa. Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, it is good that you are you are giving in the other side of the coin. Unlike the, what the PF people members are, are believing. You know, comrade, they will they will squeeze you because you are telling them the truth. It is very unfortunate that he... Hello? Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, it is very unfortunate that he... Now we have come to the guys that the PF starts with the Etigalungu and the ends with the Etigalungu. Even when they were talking about rebranding, we thought maybe they would change the face of PF and the point of politics that they will be doing. But it is nothing that, there is nothing that they have changed. Yeah. The same man that was defeated as if two years ago, it is the same man they want to bring back. Them they think HH is sleeping and the issue of Nilo may want so much. No, the only thing that they are talking about is Nilo, huh? And if you, what about tomorrow, those issues that are of uh, 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 HH, what are they going to talk about? <laughs> Let them bring him. If he... Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Hello? 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 Hey, my compassion, my guy. We know, 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 we just to concur to uh, add on what you have been saying. Mm. First of all, let me recommend you for being a patriotic Zambian on the point you raised to say, ah. Mm. If you are eligibility, that is a no-go area. And uh, for me, I salute you because the peace, that's a fact. Whereby you say it to say, the previous judges had ruled that or whatever, then more it up, it won't make sense. So for, for me, that there I, I recommend you. But the the other thing, the, the point they can I must say, remember, mm. on one of the conversation when you there are records behind when you say it, this issue of Valibu Lapo, of course you are not part of it now because at some point you are part of it. Yes, I remember said. you are saying Malungu, mm. yes, remember you are saying that Malungu is not a uh, summer. And uh, you gave an example of Donald Trump to say Donald Trump is fighting, he's everywhere, mm. Shani, mm. the man must be able to fight. Mm. 
So I, I think now, <laughs> remember at some point you are you are encouraging to be a fighter and to come out in the open. Mm. I think that is what Valungu now is trying to do. And if you read what happened, Coach Vamundipiri was telling him to say, no, remember he said it's uh, okay, food for thought. So for me, I think now he's ready to come and fight again for, 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 for a second rematch. So I think he... Hold on, the momentum is up and the, the man is ready to fight. So people will not believe you, but uh, when you say no, Bakama Chitobu V cannot fight. Oh, okay. But remember, at some point you are saying you should come no. out, you should not be hiding. Pembera ko panono. Pembera ko panono. Pembera ko panono. Mkwai. Walanda wino sana. Mkwai. Ine ndo mfa wina man. Hey. Kawa kawati, no. Mule, mule, mule chimfianya hey. umano, you know? Mwe chimfia ni mwema. Aha. Ili ni ya shi. Ili ya kwa tiba lungu wa fumi. Diata. Nile lori ya tampa. Aha. Kare ya tampa ka. Bushe pano tulela. Bushe pano tulela. Bushe pano tulela. Bushe pano lungu wa rifuma. No, but chama kari zina ya mbukwa. Remember. Aha. Remember that. Bushe pano rifuma. Kabala fuma tevyo. Kabala fuma. Eh eh. Kabala fuma eh. Eh. Okay. Fine. Ni ungu fana ola ndati no. Kamomenta muna kambo kukwe. Ukukwe lai. It's possible kutiwa afu. Fine. Okay. Namba. Eh. Na ufwa yama ama problems wakwe tewa lungu. Ule muna ti. Eche chaka waleka. But. But mwale nwa tayari. The thing is this. Remember, don't you, one thing I like about you, remember you are saying that uh, our president is going to be able to do the tolerance. Okay. <laughs> and uh, if I may ask you, so the, the thing is this, Fatad, is it, is it not his right to stand? And I'm sure. In this century of I'm politics, sure. in, this, in, in this century of politics, do you think it's, it's okay to be... Entitled to stand, let him stand. It's the people that will judge him to say, Ah, what was the matter? But the, the thing is that for me, I'm looking at it that is a threat. That's why Baleva Tinawa room. Okay, hold on a bit. I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. The point is, it's true. He, mm -hmm. he has got the right now, mm -hmm. now, for Indian, that he has got his right, but yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But the point is. Ama politics, the nature mm. of politics, sefo ya mm -hmm. ndala kuluwa, mm -hmm. kuluwa, ukuli concept ya kuluwa. Ya njiwa kuluwa kuli ni mtu mtu begin to fight. So he's fighting, <laughs> eh? Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay, hello? <laughs> Bale wa warunga, hello? Hello, choku lombai. Ya yeah, mkwai. Na, na landa kipa fingu sividi. Wano, cha ima yu pia ndi wakoronga ni kama students Ati wakwe kere ukoni koche Walange pari yuni ya wadu Nga yeminga nato wale na kwe wa eche Sinishu wale eche uta kia wale Look, if they go back to constitutional court And the constitutional court lose otherwise It means that HH is an illegal president the 2021 relations can be now and void, and the fresh relations can be called. Okay, so if we should have a new start, then secondly, let long sacrifice for Zambians if he so wish. Don't discourage me. Okay, don't discourage me. There are people who are behind him and there are those who are against him. It depends on how he's going to package the message to the Zanian people. And they, looking on how HH Areta Sabani is very easy. That's why they are all scared of ECL. That's why they can even gather my students to talk about the unit of ECL. But they want to put him in cells. I want to put him in cells. So let him fight. Let him, let him, let him, let him come out. Let him come out if he so wish. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. So don't discourage him and don't discourage those who are getting my politics. Say that I'm a politics. But we know the 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 mingarato of IUPNG. But even if that mingarato is not obvious, it's very obvious. 
that they have had some people do destabilizing, so even from the PFMPs, as you are saying, they are also at MSP issue. You know, are not loyal to the party. And so, thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I have one question for you. Hmm. I will meet my daddy. You know, I'm going to go to my daddy. 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 I'm going to go Question you may have cosa, now for Patrick of Gutna Pona. You are the Hello? 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 Yes, please. Mm. Eh, then, 
ndani ya mapia fukada ndewa ni majoy kiko pende so musazita ala chabe discouraged ndani kupointi manja mea nifuna kubwela ni pointi ya immunity kuitu hati uchua saye immunity pari wa former president wa edi garungo I don't think he be in peace sitting on Karenayo Musambi Kiwa zimirandu wa mene bari nayo wa ntubaya chwa wa Please, sebe wa ntubaya yanga na kusogolo Kiwa zime muka amba ya mwini Muri mukati ya mwini Muona in and out So man, ya mene waka ba Hey, chani, musie ni digalungu wa chite chaso Ya mwuse Ah, yo, si sebe za ya Sebewe zobera maji maiki Mame muka abani bazo wana Nenye maiko mkama ningi Futi tapa ground ili pao Yozi Kwa ito right ye unga wa Dula and other things Wa shitabaji mba luba na luba na Bati Truri kukamba jabe PF Nga ya kabati fake edi garungwa Emilire na HHS so Nisemu jabati Kulifuti na njala Kulifuti kwa meunga ende Kulifuti na kulinja So Bantu ya chuo ni UPND Binifi bintu ni boli mba Vika waka chili kuku UPND Chifu kwa ya chani Because the group ya jaya mene ya hezo Every kumene ya kuchita Bani that are still there They are still existing And the cases are still fresh So, awe, uchome bwino tisaye nde kutawo Zikomu Hello Kade Kade Hello Hello Yes, yes, I can hear you Yes, Mr. Nyan Yes, yes Uh
He could not eh? go to Southern Province to eh? campaign when he was the sitting president. You know? Now today he's in opposition. He could not go to Western Province <laughs> to go and campaign properly <laughs> because he perceived those regions to be for HH. <laughs> Think of it to 2026. <laughs> Can he go in Choma <laughs> and he hold the ride? <laughs> Think of HH the way you went to Kasama eh. against all oh, oh, during COVID time when they were pushing him away. Yes. He pushed through Kasama without GBM. Yes. This is the man who is aggressive. Mm. Now we are dealing with 50 plus one to win. Even Chipata, my brother. Talk about Chipata also. Okay, you need pro votes from people as we speak today. I don't think the longer that we are talking about now can go to North Western, Southern Province, and Western Province. Mm. Mm. So, from where I stand, from where I stand, I'm not good. But I don't think his capacity to stand to win votes under 50 plus one because he intimidates himself. Like, he can't go to Southern Province. Look at it. Going to North he said he hasn't been member. That's why I ended up for the other time. With, but I think it's because of his limited in the, the language. But he's trying to push. Mm. So in in the in the current state, his his excellence, the president, is here. In all fairness, he can't win. And like you are also asking, all those people that are calling in support of him, if they they are those that voted for him in 2021. They should forget about it. Are they asking themselves, what about the 2.8? In as much as they are complaining things are not good, or do they go to ECL? I, I'm, I'm speaking honestly. As a civil servant, we were there in ECL and now we are in this one. Personally, because of Kadarizi, I could not want to go to Think of this government. Do we have a very prominent and katankas minister that we had been a bomber? You. We have a sober government to some extent. Mm. I agree things are not okay. Mm. But the man already, he wants some people to be ahead of him. That somehow, even if he has, like, those same people that are pushing this agenda for him, they will come and again control him. This yes. time around, he was yes. supposed to take the front seat to mm. show that when he comes back, mm. he's going to be the president. Yes. Now again, he wants people to be pushing him. Those people again will come and control him. Ah. We don't want this man in that capacity again. If you should have rebranded him and then take the front seat, the way HHG has it, he's controlling, I'm sure, almost all those guys we are calling ministers. But this guy, even up to now, he wants Ben Amundipil to be pushing him as if he doesn't want. Who does that? Let him be in front. If there is a bullet, he must bite it. Like you are saying, there will be tear gas, he must face it. But I doubt if he would. He can, can he go to Southern Province in opposition to campaign? When he did not go, when he was, please, let us allow the man to remain there as a statesman. If we mean well, when it comes to the cost of living and whatever, he can't do anything about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, uh, not the Ali. M. Qua. Hello, my president, you got Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, my neighbor. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. I just want to comment on the the previous man who said um, the two point eight still with uh can the two point eight still go to you see L. Mm. Um I want to comment that somebody who is a spectator 
in a football pitch, right? Mm. Observing the way things are unfolding. Mm. As at now, currently, I don't think HH has the 2.8. Mm. He doesn't have it, it's less. Mm. Even for him to attain the 50 plus 1, be very difficult for him seriously yeah, i agree with you and uh, the other speaker said yes yes and the other caller said uh why should lungu stand he is the only one that can stand in pf mm. i mean hh stood for so many years mm. what is the problem there's nothing mm. if the party still wanting mm. if the people of zander still wanting let him start and whether Lung talks or not, some people talk less, but work more. Mm. He, I remember when he came into power, he said he had no vision because it was an abrupt thing. He had no vision, but he worked. Mm. He walked the talk. Mm. So it depends. In eventually, Psana, Kadalism was there, but he had learned a lesson, I'm sure, if he were to come back. I'm not a politician, but I'm trying to observe. The way things are unfolding, I don't think it can allow capitalism. And the idea of people saying, no, HH is going to do this one, HH is not going to be there for life. He must also know that you come out one day, do to others what they expect your friend to do to you. You know? You shouldn't say, okay, let me do this bad thing to my friend. What will go when he comes out? He has a family too. So he does, you know, live in unity, man. It can coexist. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. I like you because you are so objective. You are so reasonable. I always look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you. Hello? Ashkia. Hmm. I'm going to ask you. Ashkia, I'm going to ask you. Atari uwashe wa PF na kuata. Na wachita understand ama issues. Wa Edgar Lungu has never been a serious contender to President H.H. That's from the way to go. Nga mwawe lele kuma elections wa tayari amu 2015. Wa Lungu mwawe hile hatu in 7,000 votes. Hmm. After almost seven days, we should have won the coffee. Fast forward to 2016, we Again, we are going to win in a hundred thousand votes. After going on my issues, we are going to make sure that we are going to make sure that we are going to make sure that we are going to Nishu wa lungu na wakwata waka popola na wakwata ama soja azi na wakonse Elu wa wina na 100,000 votes Olo ya aishire sayamu 2021 Aka ime aishire ma awa wini nena 1 million votes So PFA ni minister lungu should not think that kutu wa aisa wu ina aka ime aishire ma Ilo wena wali mua position ena na kuata na power Umundu wa wawi nina one million That is irrational For them to think that they can beat you so easily Mr. Lungu like you are saying wa tayari I agree with you The man is super busy Wa lungu ni zuki politically Is zuki politically Is zuki physically and he doesn't know how to speak. Opposition to Yala Nayo, you need someone who should not start to get them issues. Wawi, Walungu, but you are my elections, Walungu, Kuin, a come of a Peruvian party. That you have to be a party in more position, no quit to have more position. That will never happen. That will never happen, Mr. Walungu cannot win. Ukufumia chidonga ino mua opposition na kushitwala mludi ni pati Ni pano tudi Wakano usono fute and is going to lose miserably this time around Ewa mba mfamu ino alungu na wadejira So I want you to stand So that he cries again Ewa mka seke sana Because tabo mfua Na tote la Hello 
Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. T. Mr. Ah. C.T. <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> this is Sarah. I'm calling you from Seattle. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd like you to listen to you. Even when you were saying you are well, I used to listen to you and you wondering, ah, is this what you're thinking? You are fighting. I never had enough. Ah, na na you want to get Ah, I just want to applaud you mm. and say thank you very much to stand your ground and start, you know, say start in the people what is happening global wise. Na la la de chile mbashala. Now we should have a lot to do more for the society. Did you learn that? You know. Because if you have a basket, you can get a hundred dollars. If you have a hundred dollars, you can get a hundred dollars. 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 You can get Yes, it's true what you are saying. It's very true. I wish we could have a bank in the media who can articulate things the way you do so that people can understand. You know? But you see, I mean, you have a voice in the You know, corporate thing. They don't want to speak. Maybe they don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. They don't come out and say what is there, you know. And I concur with you if you realize that Paris Rama board there, what, what, yes, that is a threat to the country's economy, you know. There's a lot of smuggling going around because Allah in Zambia, they don't care about the poor, many of them, they don't. All they care about is themselves. To a which is very wrong. We need to support one another. Zambia is our country. I also liked when you answered somebody to say, I'm also Zambian. These were people when they are talking, as if other people are not Zambians. You know? We are Zambians. And who wants Barungu to come back? How can somebody with a normal sentence start comparing Tata Chimba to campaign in Basata? Basata wasn't in government before. Somebody was president when Tata Chimba was the campaigning him. Mm. But Lungu was a president. And you know what they learned, like you are saying. You know? So you think HHA Kekala like said, oh, Lungu, come back. Oh my God, they don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> they don't know. Eh? Mm. So, Valungu, Vaicheme, they open up to Udoko Valanda, Tvari, Tumpa, Nava Tumpi, Shetan. HS, when he said that, Kutumbo, Komuto, Alianda, Tarewera, but the yes, FBI for your son. Now their president is even telling us this is true. Kwani Tumpa. You know? <laughs> so, thank you so much, Mr. Tayari. Continue what you are doing. And we'll be there to support you. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Tayan. Hello. Hi. Long time. Hello. Long time. I'm calling you from the United States. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that so? I, I thought it's... Mm -hmm. so Long time mm. when you're at Tayan. Mm. In we are buying a gallon of gas at four dollars and fifty nine cents. Four dollars and we are buying a and fifty nine cents. That's, That's four a gallon. 
Hiyo four dollars yo mlela ndapo yeah. mayo nishi basically you are buying fuel about 100 kwacha Mhm So ngolevi ka food tank yo nishi ndela nda moto ka mwanzi that's 75 dollars mm. Okay Lofia bread song na ex supermarkets na like sta 35 dollars Mm compared to how much we used to buy it three years ago Mm. Things have changed. Mm. So Uganda to Balungu bala we na for like the previous caller not not a lot of from the other lady who's your neighbor. Mm. She says let's give him a chance I'm sure he has learned a lesson. What are you talking about? Are you sure you want the man to come back to case you laugh with let what you need because it would even be worse. That would be worse like that. Mm. So it really is there but when la pot that's just ups. Cause the majority of Zambians that are normal for you know, you know, don't want that man back. I submit. Thank you very much. I, I like, I like this forum because you know, people exchange their views. Hello. Uh, evening, Mr. President. Good evening, my brother. Uh, yes, sir. I want to talk about the issue of uh, the issue of uh, issue of returning to politics. Hmm. Uh, yes sir. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh is he choosing to be a statesman or or returning into active politics uh that's not up to him or or, or anybody else to decide. Mm. So so the background of is he returning into or being a statesman is that in the first place UPND have never respected is he when he was in when he was in politics and when he's out so and from the definition of a statesman is a political figure who is respected by the majority you get so what makes you think he's going to assume the role of a statesman the role of a statesman directly like that and they will accept him because the guy is being bashed left right and center so the thing of no is going to be a a statesman or is going to back back into politics is a non starter and the other thing that i want to talk about is the current political scenario in zambia is not conducive we are just too focused on things that are not making sense mm. it's high time that the opposition and the government work together to find sustainable solutions for its citizens yes things are hard but we can do something when we put our minds together not here complaining about what doing shani doing shani tafsha wo me always going to come to ba- to power ale wele la po kutumboko it's not yet 2026 for goodness sake let's focus on things that are pressing thank you my really? friend thank you hello Hello Mr. Chikrata, good evening. Good evening. I'm getting excited when I see numbers from outside because I want to hear how the economy is in different yes. countries. Oh wow, yeah. It's it's very important for you to to receive uh, mixed feelings and comments from different people, different countries. Mm. Uh but what I want to say is um uh, If we, we 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 are talking about the coming back of Bobai Galungu and the stuff like that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My, my brother. brother my, my brother. Pano no fe before we before tatra kuri Galungu. Which country are you calling from? Empire. Which country are you calling from? I'm calling you from Caledonia. Hey, Caledonia. Where which where is that? <laughs> my joke. That next to Australia. Oh, next to uh, the island just next to Australia. Okay. Yeah, it is an island just above New Zealand and be below uh Philippines. Oh, that's very nice. Now, my brother, there how yeah. are yeah, the right. commodity prices? How have they fared in the last two years? What is the situation? Oh. Okay, I've been here only for three months. Oh, okay. uh, but the things you are like, you know, most of the things in, in, in these developed countries where the economies are good, they are expensive. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you because I want to please someone, but no, things no, no. are expensive, but the economy is good. No, and no. also the environment where the people live is conducive for them to be able to manage to get what they need, the daily needs. 
No, basically but now I'm going to go back. Yes, go back mm. to that. Yes, go ahead. Mm. Yeah, so now I'll go back to our country Zambia. Mm. We have to look at our country. Where are we? Where are we standing? Is our current situation favorable enough for every Zambian citizen to be able to sustain his livelihood? And what is the uh, how is the political situation in our country? These are the things that are forcing us to have such kind of conversations on on on, on Facebook day, night, and every time. So upon the government, I Victimization. It's because yeah, the, the thing is this. It's because Akainde was very much overrated when we are PF in power. There were so many issues that people were talking about and Everyone thought that the only solution that we have to Zambia is Bakaindo. Now, after having this thought about the state, the leader of the country, what have we seen? Is it better than the previous country? Is it doing the things that the people of Zambia want? So, those are the things that will make the Zambia better between Bakaindo and Ekalungu. And like the previous caller said, but Ed Galunga has never been respected, even when. <laughs> yeah, but... Hello, Watavi. Hello, hello. Yeah, thanks for answering my call. I'm trying quite a bit here. Man, man, we can do this uh, uh, schedule. I, I have, I have, I have, I have seen, I have seen your number keep popping up. Yeah, and and unfortunately, the other number dropped. Anyway, where are you calling us from? Uh, Manchester, Manchester. Ah, yeah, Manchester. Manchester. Ah, Manchester. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just be, I, before you 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 contribute, I'll give you time to talk about other issues. But first of all, I just want you to hear mm -hmm. how is the economy mm -hmm. faring in the last two years where you are. Right. I'll definitely concur with the 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 two callers, the lady the lady from Seattle and the other one, the American, just to talk. Mm. Yes. The situation is the world over. Mm. Have you know, China has done the job of petrol and everything. We've seen petrol here. Mm. Uh, it, it, it has hit a two pound mark per litre. Mm. I know I'm not going to watch the former Mark Dallas, Vena Korea. Here, it hit the two, two pound mark. Mm. Going back 10 years ago, 10 years ago and all that, we're not thinking it's considerable to, to find that uh, or to, uh, to, pay, to kind of think that still are here, which has hit two pounds a litre. Mm. Yeah, it's hit to find the litre and everything else has fallen on. Mm. Just the other day, obviously, I've been expecting you as I put everything. Mm. Um, uh, just yesterday, I was speaking to a friend last week, and I started going at 10 kilo, and actually multiplying by 59, 59 quarter 50, at 10 kilos. It's 400, 400 quarter, 10 kilos, Kavunga. Kavunga, mm. right? But it's my former Asian, you know, Asian shirts and things. It's 400, 414 quacha, last week's rate for 10 kilos. And then there you got 310 for 25 kilos. Mm. I think it's okay. They, they, I, I shouldn't compare like for like with them, you know? Yes. The yes. standard of living is higher. Yes. But yes, yes. Still, I think, I, but I, I think we can still work out that, you know, if you don't try to go get the price of the Price at six pounds, four pounds, and mm. all that. That's enough that to skyrocket. Uh -huh. Yes, you don't mind the thing about uh, the number of people from America. Yes, mm. the cost, cost of living and all the rest of it has shot up the world over. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. please, please go ahead, mm. go ahead, make your contribution. Thank you for that. Okay, now, yes. Thank, and thanks, for, thanks a lot for this. I, I've watched you and I've followed you, and the way I want to look at you as a guy who's changing. Mm. But we still return. One thing I like about you is that you still return that critical argument. They are not very, very treating you. I don't know where the, the demography where they come from. I think you still maintain that even if somehow you also want to look at your family situation and then be a consultant who you've been, I presume, in the past, do the thing that people normally do. If you want to return your, your significance or the importance, you've got a space in what is going on. I want to urge you on that one. Thank you. Yeah. 
I think you you seem like a bank, but you can only to America to be a thief. If you're part of fear, I think you will not behave like, sorry to say, these are politicians. I'm not helping anybody. I'm just giving an example. Mm. You will not behave like Rustambo, mm. and the group leader and all those kind of things. You're just talking about fear things. They went very much down there. Mm. NHH and the government, like the Red American saying, they've taken the corporate approach, but they need also now with the changes that have happened before, information and social peers and everything. I think they need to be giving information what they're doing in the long term. They are involved the long term, it might not yield the, the truth just now. Mm. But we need that information so that you can trust them. Mm. I think that's why that's how wonderful. Mm. On the other side, could about peer. Mm. I think PF are scared at the moment. You've seen what happened to me, what happened to the MMD. Mm. They think they're going to go down that road. Mm. So they are holding on to, on to EPL. Mm. Yeah? They, they've got the money from the other two. There's upcoming people like that. I think they can handle the situation, but they're not sure. They think that the moment they go to constitutional, then they go to the other aspect of uh, the selecting a leader, mm. they'll go down the road of where others have been. Mm. So now they're holding on to the man to sort of mm. hang around there. You can appreciate the minister. Mm. Okay? Mm. And then you are saying that uh, you can't, uh, Israel can't fight. Mm. Um, I think, I, I don't know what, whether to agree with you or whether not to agree with you. Mm. But I also want to tell you about the demography of voting in, I think we should have, we should have kind of linked up with the demography of voting in Zambia. Mm. I'm not a tribalist, but I'm a realist. Mm. Yeah? Um, Copper Belt, mm. you know, it's the party, it's it pulled the strings, if mm. you know what I'm trying to say, mm. yeah? Mm. ECR has got, uh, it, it has got uh, Eastern Province, Lothar Province is the two characters, they are going to be on the power, but, but, but let's just call about Michelle now, and go here, Pandora. Mm. They can sort of play around with the system. Mm. HH is doing good things, but you might be on flimsy ground because the machinery are like good opposition, they both think that they also seem to have a but they don't have a plan. They could because they're looking at you know, the demography and all these factors. Mm -hmm. And also, H I think HHU is a good person and is a, 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 a corporate guy trying to do things that corporate do to try and make things better so that can sell through the difficult time. Yeah? And I think it's a good thing. We needed it. But I think if he doesn't sort of look at what is going on there, if they could simply jump back in. We can't discount him on the on, mm. on the uh, sort of on the argument that that way they are I think he can play around with the certain demography of people. Mama but I'm not I'm neither PF or or you think I'm in Zambia. Mm. Mama mm. Yeah. Mom for position and then very yeah. good, very good. So but um, I think I think I think the last point is that PF should also just own up and say they did bad things and they that go and generally rebrands because people like me and you who think the guys are playing around to bounce back in and go back to their own way. Mm. I think they need to go back and generally rebrand, they still have an opportunity there. And then just play within the ground, as I look like the, what you call the gorilla sort of thing and all that. Mm. They don't play with, uh, with uh, uh, whoever they want, but they kind of should come out rather than play this kind of get get with me. We are such we are such a with them with in the past. We are not being sincere at the moment. If you understand what I'm saying, yeah. I'll leave it here. Thank you. What thank do you, you think? That's my argument. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I I I like your uh, analysis and your objectivity. Uh, I'm I'm so grateful. Please uh, keep uh, keep keep coming in. I mean, you just touched on the issue of you know the strength. When I'm talking about the strength, you, you see. The politics, especially here in mm -hmm. Africa, you know, before you talk mm -hmm. about voting, there is the whole process mm -hmm. of you campaigning and being mm -hmm. on a ballot mm -hmm. in Africa and mm -hmm. particularly in Zambia. Just to be on a ballot mm -hmm. is a success on its okay. own. It's a fight. Right, right. Just for you I to mean, make it before I mean. you even talk about it, people voting for you. <laughs> And even people mm -hmm. voting for you, there is an issue of uh, electoral, um, uh, what is it, uh, security. Electoral mm -hmm. security. It is not enough mm -hmm. that you have got a thousand people going to vote for you. There is an issue of mm -hmm. protecting the vote. 
and a mm -hmm. lot of things in me i'm in politics i've seen it happen mm -hmm. i see how things happen so it it, mm -hmm. it really involves more than just one's popularity mm -hmm. uh, or one's message it goes beyond that mm -hmm. and those are the issues that i am citing when i when i talk about ed galungu as one person that i know close and okay. being part mm -hmm. of so that is my issue but mm -hmm. always, thank you very much my brother i appreciate that thank you so much you remain relevant you remain relevant okay thank, thank you. you thank you mm -hmm. thank you hello 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 no yes please hello good evening mr Kyle. good evening good hey, how are you fine fine yes mr Kyle. so uh, i just have a few words mm. and i'm speaking to uh, you mm. on one part of yes yes hello yes yes go ahead yes so now uh, the, the matter is uh, if you think it's going to ask if the room will come the they don't have a chance. It's going to be embarrassment and very big luck because things are bad. And the room is that you are talking today. Then you have a super room. Room is a big one. And the Arabian day, not to make it for some people, because everyone is talking about the that those uh, those the phone call is is a little bit uh, challenging. I was not able to hear properly. Hello. Hello? Yes, please. Hello, Mr. Yeah. Tari, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Mr. Tari, uh, people they need to be truthful mm. to say the things the way they are. If they that man is too high. This government they have really been really fair. Look at me. Eh? These guys when they came, yeah, these, these guys when they came in, they find a lot of delay, okay? They find a lot of they started saying the names. Okay? So how do you expect the million to cheat to be cheap? Eh? And also look at the fuel. The fuel price is high. Why? Why everything is just high? And they are saying that my brother, hold, just on, hold on a bit, eh? hold on a bit, my brother. <laughs> hold on a bit, my brother. Hold on a bit. Yes. Have you been following the program uh, from yes. the time when when I started, or you have just joined? I've just joined, but I've heard what they have said to some of the people. Okay. okay. So look, yes, but you, you are, what you are saying. Is, Everything that you are saying, I've heard whatever thing that you have said, but some of the people, the way they are saying, it's not right. Because they need to say the truth. The economy, Mr. Tahari, is too high. Where we are going, we are going in a ditch. I'm telling you the truth. Okay? Things are quite bad right now. It's better to bring somebody who has the experience. You see? We are not saying that no, maybe PF, yes, PF, we are, we dislike because of capitalism and some other things, but we got some other things, we yeah, that, okay, economy was just fine, okay? Look at Miriam, Phil, where are we going, Mr. Tayari? How much are we going to be paying for the children? Eh? We take children maybe two times, three times to pick up children from school there and there. And how much are we going to manage? And you're not trafficking with such and everywhere. You see? Eh? Things are expensive, Mr. Tayari. I don't know where we are going. I think uh, uh, me and this guy need to tell the truth to them. He really needs help. You see? Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. It's not good. It's not good. Where we are going, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I like this platform because, you know, different people come, express themselves, you know. Uh, it's, it's good. That is democracy. Even me, I just give my, my opinion. It's not that what I say, it's the gospel truth. No. I just give my opinion, you know, like anybody else. Hello? Hello? 
But uh, I think I get your point. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Diane. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much for the program. I've also been following you and um, I, I like the program. But uh, I just want to comment on um, the issue of that thing. Um, I big picture here is not the ECL coming back. Mm -hmm. It's the people who are making all these assumptions. You are a politician. You are the people's the public lawyer, as you say. Mm. And so I, I, I think it's the it's ECO who wants to come back, but it's the assumptions of the people. So let's look at the big picture here. The big picture is the economy. Mm. The big picture is the economy that the, uh, the current government has to work on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the issue of milk. Mm -hmm. Honestly, should we compare uh, how expensive milk is in the US or in the other countries when we, um, we, we have farmers, a lot of farmers, uh, Completing this maize, but we had plenty of maize, like the other caller mentioned. Maize was sold out. And we said last week there were a lot of uh, hundreds of uh, trucks in Chisamba loading maize going to Tanzania. While the, uh, the milk mill is on high demand in, in Zambia. So, what do we call that? So, the people are saying, let somebody who has experienced. Experience. There's somebody who is uh, maybe uh, hard for the people to come into power. That's why some other people, a number of people say ECL should come back. Whoever will come back should look at this issue of minimum because we have the capacity as a country to maintain the prices of minimum because we have enough land, we have enough rainfall to maintain these prices. We don't need to compare the price of minimum the people in the U.S. Maybe talk of fuel, but not really. It's the governance. It's the people who are in leadership. They are selling maize out and leaving us in anger. So, if people are crying to say, let this year come, it's not his problem. It's the people. I've never heard anything about this year saying he wants to come back, but it's it. Some of the individuals are saying, let me let him come back in the future. For now, you. I think, sir, the issue is about the current governors who are failing us in selling our maids out. Yeah. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. Tren. Hi. Hi, yes. I'm calling from the U.S. 
and I've been following your program Thank about you. uh, what everybody is saying. Mm. But to be truthful, and what my other sisters have said, mm. things are very bad everywhere. Mm. You know, I understand people are mad right now, things are not so good on the ground, but mm. that's just one thing we're going to cry about millennials. Mm. But if you look at even here, the gas prices, mm. what we pay is almost $5 mm. per gallon. Mm. And if you compare like to Zambia, of course it's different, but mm. things everywhere is so hard. Mm. But if you look at PF coming back, if you look back when there was gassing, Lungu himself could not stand up for the people of Zambia to condemn what was happening. It took his wife to, to cry to the nation to stop the gassing. Mm. You understand? Mm. As a leader, that's the time he needed to stand up for the people of Zambia. Mm. And bringing back Lungu, I don't think that's the solution. It's going to be a walkover for UPND anyway. If PF thinks that's going to be the best choice. Mm. They have other able leaders that can stand for the president. But let Lungu rest. Things are bad, but HH is waiting on making the situation better. It's better than having pangas and all that. So, please, we don't want PM back. Malungu let him rest. If PM wants, can get another leader, but not Malungu. No. Thank you. Thank you very much, my sister. Really appreciate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, you see, when we are, when we are comparing prices we are not comparing prices based on how much it is in those countries no we are comparing in terms of how things have increased you know the the if you like maybe inflation you know but not really even inflation but just how things have been rising the the, the cost of living has been increasing that is what we are talking about not the pricing hello 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 Hey, I'm, I'm I'm blessed to I'm blessed tonight. I'm just I'm receiving so many ladies. I'm so blessed. We na we na fero tushim utuma shu tushuma betwe katwe kafe kandanda mchuwe mbapantu anakia kutiba abuka na bala la badu kutiba abuka but ah uh, wale roni impa wale romwe. <laughs> Ah, well, no topic is connected. Not now. If you step up, contribute. I'm quiet, please. I'm calling you from Bristol. Oh, Bri? Bristol, Queensland. Oh, Bristol. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, one thing that this is not related to what you are talking about tonight, mm -hmm. but it's something that I wanted to let you know to say. Mm -hmm. The write up. There's a write-up you did, I think some two days ago, about the remix. I think your analysis was phenomenal, it was brilliant. So I, I thought I should let you know, to say, well done on that one. Thank so, you. Thank you. I, I just pray yeah. that people who are involved could, uh, are mm -hmm. able to see it that way. Mm -hmm. I, I'm praying that yeah. they are able to see it that way, and I'm praying that they could be humble, and courageous at the same time, you know, to take a step that could help. Because really, at the end of the day, uh, that case doesn't look good, Mwen. Absolutely, I agree. Otherwise, it was well written. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Twister Kuri Ashilia, I'm a commodity in my economy. I won't mm. lie to you. Um, if you need to we know. Mm -hmm. I'll just give you an example. Like Lelo, mm -hmm. I bought you know a head of cabbage mm -hmm. for two pound twenty, which is almost fifty six pounds. Cabbage mm -hmm. You know. Before you were buying it, at how much? Before it was about sixty p. Yes. Fifty p. Yeah. Now it's two pound twenty for that cabbage. I Cabbage. Mm -hmm. Ka medium cabbage. Shilaviko mm hunga. -hmm. Mm. You know, and this is where I'm a farmer. Uh, of course, there's a lot of farming, but if you can buy cabbage value £2.20, mm. that's expensive. You see? 
So I thought I should just let both of them and that. If it's a fiance, I'm going to ask for a I think now other caller from Manchester. Mm. I agree with what you were saying. The other people from Seattle and everywhere. If it's a fiance. Yeah. Then we come to the Valungu. I think Valungu Batushe, it's too soon. Let him take a step back. You know, mm. so that he analyzes where he went wrong. People are still healing and the wounds are still fresh. Maybe if he can just take a step back and let somebody else take it up if they appear for the folks that brand. But for him to come now, I think that would be a disaster. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's my contribution. Otherwise, we are enjoying your program. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm, 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 I'm really grateful. Yeah. Mm. I want to tell. Okay, just want to tell. All right. So there you are. Really, I mean, truth be told, like I've said, yes, there are some challenges that we have locally, but there are some challenges really that are beyond those that are in government and it doesn't matter who is in state house um those are uh, fundamentals or those factors will still be there and um there is nothing that we can do hello 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 yes please Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm working. Mm. My name is Frank. I'm calling from uh, the Copper Girl. Okay, yes, please. Okay, I've been called for your, your call, hopefully. Mm. And I'm looking at uh, or hearing the people that are calling from the dashboard. Mm. Now, Mr. Tari, is it normal for people who are not uh, staying on the land to comment about our other situation? Can we compare the UK to Zambia? No, Ufen. Listen, hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Don't get it wrong in, term, in terms of our comparison. Our comparison is not how much fuel or millimew is in other countries. Our comparison is based on the fact that at the moment there is a global economic upswing in terms of our commodities of prices. Everywhere there is this upswing of commodity prices. And those who are contributing, they are talking to that fact. They are not comparing how much fuel is or how much cabbage is there and here. No. We are basically saying in most countries, there is an increment in terms of cost of living. That is what we are talking about. Of course, I agree with you on what you are saying, but I'm getting my point. Mm. My point is, in Zambia, my brother, we have land, and the land is our own, and we plenty things on our own. What we're saying is, in terms of delivery, our friends, our brothers from the current regime, they are slow in delivery. We can tell you from the second day, it's not here for the own area. That's what I'm comparing, and we need to compare. We need to compare these things that are realistic, so that we see in terms of delivery. My brother, leadership is actually providing for the people and not making a stand from the calculation that the people are working. There are so many things that you can divide that they can share the lives of the people. So, the copper belt will arrive on the mind. And the mind will take him to four years to grow. I'm going to be talking about that. Can you imagine that even Miriam is a big issue because 
When you look at it in terms of delivery uh, for the commodities, other colonies you are doing those things, those inputs, so almost put it up to show that. But, okay, where are the inputs now and what to give up land? So, at the end of the day, we need to compare these two things. Are these guys delivering for or not? The truth of the matter is they are not delivering. And you will not be able, we are not looking at it in terms of the room or anything, we are looking at it in terms of the team. They were not bad. The only thing that was bad was the Azarillo. But the other one, in terms of getting back to people, they are very good. They are very, very good. So we need to make sure that they live up to the standards of the room, they are not going to stand up. So if you say, uh, the minimum is the table in the room, okay, I refuse, because some guys are coming from the corner, they put their own line, and they have their own brain. Those guys in the UK, they don't want to look at things before to work. Uh, the, the weather is over the Boko Zambian. So, we cannot compare those two. So, what we are saying is that the country, we are looking at them in terms of are they delivering as compared to their friends? And the truth of the matter is no. On the Boko Zambian, we will try to ignore and say what you might ask. People will ignore Africa. To the matter, even you, Mr. Katari, you know you are going Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Oops. Calls uh, keep coming in. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, what are you doing? A lady again, huh? Yes, a lady again from ah. the diaspora. Ah, I think I'm going to ask. Are you married? I'm looking for a second wife. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am married. <laughs> I'm joking, my sister. Please go ahead. <laughs> Okay, I come in peace, Rashid Patari. I'm quiet. Uh, you, I think uh, you are the one that uh, like eighty percent that led people of saying it. Lungwa It's like, true. Recall very well. It's true. You are right. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's so misleading, Rashid Patari. I know you are trying all your best, like put the country in shape and everything, but it's so misleading at the end of the day. Mm hmm. I hear and you, my sister. The other sister. thing is, um, you can't compare the economy of Zambia and abroad. These are developed countries. Mm, mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what do you Um, a 10 kg bag of mini meals about 20 pounds, mm. which is about 500 and something in Zambian kwacha. Mm. Um, what do you have to South Africa? Mm. Mm. So, to be very misleading, the Malaks are compare economy of Zambia and of Fialu, Of mm. course, even here things are not, uh, even here things are not easy, but in Pia and Tuba Pola, Kunem Pia and Tuba Pola, Kunan, and the Shad Sana. So, number, yeah, so, number, my sister. Now, Adisa, well, let me just speak, my brother, you respond. Okay. Um, Adisa, I feel like you would stand up and speak for the poor and everything. I think we are okay on that line. Mm. Of course, by you can have a statement with Suma. You are okay, like, to say on a statement with Suma, but Suma, I'm not going to be able to speak with Yeah. So, just see how you can, like, Speak on behalf of the poor. Man to, like things are not easy for everybody. Things are difficult. So now I'm going to focus to my own fear because we have people back home out to Asha. So just try and give up a pack of tea. Not because I want any better things. Just fight for the people. Then at the end of the day, it's God, it's God in so good country you at the end of the day. No, thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother, and God bless you. Yeah. Hello? I will, I will respond to some of the issues that she has raised. I will talk about them, but let me take this other call. Hello? 
Machrufia ma womba shan ba. Buna buna fe ma womba shan. Audrey Donsa Donsa. Kare to. Kare to ala ndire po na mfo bu ino. Na chimona fe kana ba da ti. Na sister wa ndio Aisha. Yeah. Eh. Ah I but 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 I want to to say something. Yes, London man. Um, I am very, very surprised. Mm. Uh, Zambians from abroad who are trying to compare economy from abroad here and in Zambia. Mm. That's why we are in this position in Zambia because we compare other countries. Here, here where I am, we don't even we we uh, the the government here we have not even allowed people to use diesel. Here we are using uh, electronic uh, cars, and then you try to compare your fuel no this, this is not very acceptable. But, but Chirufia, even when you cannot uh, work with the PF, it's fine and we are so happy on your position. But please, you should not defend the HH government. Because, because at the end of the day, you even know yourself. You, you, you are going to have the conscience, you are going to have the conscience that what you were defending, it was not correct. Where we are speaking because we want the HH to have the solution. We have to focus in Zambia. Zambia, we have our own currency, we have our own, our own culture, and we have a different system. We cannot compare Zambia to Europe or to US. Most of Zambians and foreigners in abroad, they don't even work. They, they depend, they normally depend on government benefits. And the salaries that we get here, it's very, very abnormal high. Compare the salaries our people are being given. So what we are trying to do is the solution. Please, Baba Chirufia, I really respect you so much. Please focus on putting Zambia in space. You have your own part. You have to push the agenda to put Zambia in space. If you are not suffering, if you are not suffering, but you have some relatives, your own relatives who are suffering. And you know it, that things are very bad. The HH should, should have a solution. How, how is going to reduce the price of milling? How is going to reduce the fuel? Before he went in power, when he, when he went in power, he had already a solution. He had a solution that is going to put a fuel down. He's going to reduce the milling mill. 50 quarter. And those are the solutions that we want. Yeah, but we have a solution. You are correct. We cannot do it now. After that, yeah, after, after the United States, the, the foreigners, he has given money to him. Now he cannot do it. His hands are very, very, he has tied himself now. Whether Malungu Babuela or not, this man needs to go. There are other political parties that we want fresh grains. We want people who, are, who can really think outside of the box, really to, to, to serve us. Anyway, thank you so much and God bless. Bye for now. Thank you. Now, let me let me res, let me respond uh, basically to the previous caller and uh, um, and the other one that called before this lady. Um, now, I, I, I guess uh, some people have not gotten it. They, they have not gotten the context from which we are doing the comparison. 
if it if it is even a comparison it is actually not a comparison so to say it is not a comparison what we are talking about we are talking about the the increase of uh, cost of living that's what we are talking about not the prices not the economy of those countries we are talking about the uh, increase in cost of living and this a cost of living i mean of course when you talk about figures the figures will definitely be different when you talk about earning the income definitely it will be different but the cost of living the increase is is what we are talking about and basically we are saying in many countries in many countries the cost of living is going up this is what we are saying and we have attached why is the cost of living rising in different countries why is it rising from my point of view i pointed to the war in ukraine and somebody might say no that is just a whatever whatever i think then one would be naive at the moment we are living in what we call a global economy this is where we are living what happens in america affects other countries elsewhere what happens in britain affects other countries elsewhere especially these countries that have got a, a, a trade link with african countries the, what happens in their countries affects us and it is from that point of view that we are talking about uh, you know the cost of living being high in britain being high in america being high in australia because it's a, it, it is a global trend at this point in time when there is there is a recession in america it will affect everyone when there was uh, a, a a meltdown in, in 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 europe it affect everybody and the war in ukraine and russia it is affecting everyone it is from that context that we are talking about the cost of living so i i think he, i mean we should be careful before we start calling other people names to say they are not thinking they are bad we should be very very careful because uh, you know i don't think it's right you know so it is from that point of view and we have actually been very specific in terms of fuel right now russia has is closing to expose it to export to export uh, fuel to other countries and certainly that is affecting us and we have said that i mean it will even be worse i even went to an extent of saying since it will be worse can we see how we can subsidize that is what we are talking about in terms of minimum prices we have acknowledged and even this government by upnd they have also acknowledged though they have not come out strongly because they had a policy when they opened borders but later on the minister said no 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 we are closing borders and my call has been that yes the minister has retracted that policy that has retracted on that policy but i'm saying can the president come in and pronounce himself so that we can stop the smuggling that is currently going on so i think from our point of view we have been very logical and reasonable in discussing matters here i think it is those of you who have not gotten it properly that are accusing those that contributed earlier that how can you compare uh, you know big economies developed economies to whatever no we are not comparing the economy we are not comparing the prices we are talking about the trend of increase in cost of living that's what we are talking about and then this uh, uh, my lady said no speak for the poor i think that's what i do i think that's what i do by the fact that you may not agree with me it doesn't mean that i'm not speaking for the poor there are so many other people that agree with me you know and i speak for the poor eh? you even suggested to say ngabampela something meaning you know ngabakulisha no i don't operate like that i say things as they are even here i think i believe i have said things as the way i see them not because i'm supporting anyone not because anyone has given me anything and the, 
uh, this issue of saying Zambians, Zambians, I mean, it's not everybody who is inclined in one side, you know, and this is what I face here. Each time I don't agree with certain people, I mean, then I'm not speaking for the poor. Then I'm not, then I'm not being objective. I think we need to grow out of this kind of mentality where we can just engage on reasonableness. Like, you know, this lady, but my neighbor, the one I was talking, I called my neighbor. I like that woman because that woman is quite objective. Sometimes she doesn't agree with me, but she comes out in a way that, you know, I remain thinking to say she had a point there. I think that's what we, that we, that's what we need. Not start calling each other mad. Not start calling each other Navakudi Shamo. Not start calling each other. No, no, you can't defend it. I'm not defending anyone. I'm not defending HH. I'm not defending this government. I'm not defending Ed Galungu. I am on my own. I'm giving things from my point of view. Hello? 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 And please call me on WhatsApp. Call me on WhatsApp. Don't call me on the direct line. It's already 23. I need to... I need to go and sleep. Kuti e program yak push it up. Hello? 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 Bagatek. M Uh good evening. Good evening. Okay, this is Patrick calling from Cowboy. Okay, yes, Patrick. Okay. Uh, problem with our operating as the operating as the perfect for the UPND. I think our PF now what the operating as. Yes, come over. Because every time you <laughs> talk against the, uh, the patriotic friend, we should have a lot of emotion. Let's put it that way, you. I've got I've got uh, friends uh, across Africa. Mm. Uh, I was talking to him yesterday. Mm. Uh, one of them is in Kenya, and mm. life now is Kosa. Life now is Kosa. They're Zambia, Kenya, South Africa, uh, Uganda, and Rwanda. Fin mm. fin Kosa. So no matter what I put on and what any what the government is about to do, it's that eh, we don't make mistakes too much. But you be enjoy to make mistakes, but it's bang up bad. What we need is a credible opposition. You know? Yes. Uh, cause as as far as I'm concerned, at the moment. Uh, the reason why the UPND is underperforming is because we don't have a credible opposition. They are a bunch of jokers. Every time we have a real thing, an issue, they will treat our petty issues instead of focusing on what is important. Mm. So I would like to age our fellow opposition yeah because in your PND yeah I like I like I like your party and your manifesto yeah especially now that uh, you come out clean you don't belong to any party at that time an issue with you because you belong to you sided the PF so uh, as, as of now um I'm really impressed with you because you are on on neutral. You don't support any party. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Manje, ngamwa sedera kuba PFU ba UPND ba laisa. Ngamwa sedera kuba PFU. Ishkwala mbwa amana ba mbwa emotiono. If in fin of course, but what we need is a credible opposition here, but it is to provide amateur checks and balances. Yeah. 
No, thanks, my brother. Hello? Hello? Ye yes, please. It is very sad that Avena um, Zambia now choose the majority of the people they've chosen not to get the gist of what you are trying to put across. Okay? Mm. Mm. If you think over around the world, now mm. in Africa, in Uganda, in the countries, in Konja, and they are going constant contact in Rwanda. Now in Rwanda, if you think okay. Now move that part. If you take excuse, move the period of move that. Ubunga bube no motengo. Ubunga mm. wadi panga mistake wa isu lama borders. Mm. Okay. But generally, the performance of the world economy, mm. because of the Russia-Ukraine war, mm. if you do tafiri wino, nomba wantu wale lavati, tuikala in a symbiotic relationship. Mwamona? Mm. Ulunga fiambo kuchita affectu ku everywhere it will start affecting. Mm -hmm. And I like the point just last week, uh, yeah, it was last week when I came across an article that Russia has banned the export of crude, uh, refined crude and petrol. Mm -hmm. Immediately that statement was issued, the price of crude, of crude oil and everything jumped. Mm -hmm. No mba problem umuzanda tuakwata. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And this is why to put in my exam class. Lecture and this plus this interpretive. People have chosen, you know the reason why people have chosen not to follow what you are saying? Mm. Because of Na ila ine mubi kile fia cheo lungu teta wele mungu teka food. Mm -hmm. So now everything that you are trying to put across to them at one if they stick and if it have a refuel for. Mm -hmm. Yes, we cannot compare the Zambian economy to the mm -hmm. UK economy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what we are just trying to point out that mwane ni mwere karachalo. Mm -hmm. If you do well dover, tafiri buino. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... And you are at the same time aging the current government that your government is not going to be able to do it. the correct situation. But again, at the same time, our ingredients are not going to be able to do it. Okay? We are going to be able to do it. Fertilizer to that time, but isn't it? Our tracks are going to be fertilizer. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to Mulenje mm. wati fertilizer yala landing at the same price. Ono, mm. Although tuwa rich wapa Zambia, wa businessman tuwa rite mo kuko kola. Mm. Mwamona? Mm. But those are things government can sit down mm. and sort out. But it is unfortunate that people are now turning against you just because you've said no. Awaba mdala titi wawwe kerepo. Mm. And then but me say ama katas wawam PF. Taba mm. kwatama manas. Then if you are Ishwanin said and they don't want to argue you no know, kwa talk yes, okay, tired yes, mones. Mm. But a pef ya londoro moon to the keni to moon for finisha lela and da mm. na wea e katila mwe wabe mba mwe wati na we katile chinga apa kawana mm. mwe katile chinga pamolo mamu na we mm. basende refin to pamu instead of saying okay, let's listen to our brother. What is he trying to tell us? Mm. And this is the reason why the PFT to watch the brand Mamona. When I left from a shortcut, I'll tell you one thing mm. Zambia is not an independent country. We are all dependent. Mm. And you mentioned one thing to run a country, you need some goodwill from the international community. Mm. Mm. People, when the, the, when the international community see things are not going well, they will fight back. And we all never ever tell you where they are. And it will be very difficult because I guess I have a Ah, we don't want to be a poor kind. They ever feel now in the soap, but the parish on in Gachita. 
So in nature, Ningamio are tired. The way you've I followed you from the way to go, and I like the way you've been putting on my issues. Tamulandi, the Tamu Silpo contradict Nangupamu. It's just like to see Ave Kalacharo, they've chosen to ignore the gist of your discussion and they've picked on other issues just because you said this. Yes, we all know Ugunga would know Mutengo. And I believe the current government, they are working towards that. They will address the cost of the minimum that they've gotten it because Ugunga will finish the Muzambia problem to arrive at basic. Chips, which are going to control how you and me will communicate, how you and me will move in the future. Instead, to require my discussion, can we have the opposition and the ruling party to come together, we formulate a policy how we are going to pr protect the critical minerals, which is copper, lithium, and copper. I don't want to discuss that. I don't want to discuss that. Instead, I don't want to talk about strategic issues. Let's, as a country, opposition and the ruling, parliament, let's push the agenda. I'm a battery to alarm book panga mulumine. If Zambia will go it alone in terms of electric vehicle batteries, the century panga mulutu is a beneficiary. I'm a raw materials. If you are in the Pabunga, eh? Ubunga, if you want to have a state house, you can give Pabunga. That's how Ubunga was to turn in slave, Mamon. Which is very, very sad, Mamon. Tired, I will be 50 years next year. When I was six years, we can have a kid to go to normal fiash. Now, I am going to say I am 49 years old. Same story, we are not a serious people. Trust me. Mm. No, okay, thank you. Uh, Hello? 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 Hello, Mr. Tinelli. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been following the discussion. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I just want to start as let me see this. You know, this ongoing scandal, people uh, calling it what? The suspicious people that. You know, I've been following what's, what's been happening on the political scene, Mr. Kahadi. The way you've been articulating issues. Mm -hmm. Let me just say, no, I've, I've had no problem with you, but I've understood you from the get go. You know, you just play, you play politics. Mm. So the other thing, okay, what? Else? Let me let me go back to what I said. So I think these 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 uh, institutions, the FCC, DNC, I feel like in this new regime, in this new government, they've just uh, gotten a leash, moved off the NX. Then they're now free to hunt and go for you know areas where they will not they will not go for. You understand? So I feel like we should not politicize this and say no HH is doing this, HH is doing that, HH is going for you know. He, he freed them. He said you can work under your own jurisdiction. You can work here now. Another thing, mm. but people are politicizing this and saying HH this, HH that. You know, even for the fuel. Uh, the cost of living, yes, like you, you know, it's a challenge. Worldwide, not just in Zambia. People are having to do it. So this blame game is one thing, and it seems to be anyway. No? Let's just try it. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Yeah. I'm going to go I am Kwama Wombe. I am Kwai. Today, Kung Kabuna Sana program. I'm going to go to the Chino. Mozambia, we lack patriotism. I'm going to go to the Support of Muntijas because you are in Mutemuan and Padicha de Pera, 
that's when now you can uh, support such a person. So uh, I would give you as an example. Mm. Many of us today, Zambia, we are saying no, Chirugatari has been bought, mm. has been uh, given a lot of money, that's what of the former president. But for me, that has not been even the case. Mm. Uh, my point is, uh, let's call a spade a spade. Mm. Uh, even the, the previous caller, I'm sure he highlighted on no America and Zambia, China, what we are fighting for, we are fighting about uh, technology. Here in Zambia, we are crying about uh, meeting you. Come on, man. Ndivyo is our step of foot. Uh, Ishima, Ishima, you know. We don't uh, attack people based on that one. Then we are provoking even those that are suffering in our communities. But the moment we hear you saying, Ishima is nothing to talk about, let's talk about something else, then that is a propagation of its own. So let's just tell this government to say, work on this. It's not us who taught them to promise us on the minimum, reducing the prices of minimum. Of course, some of us understand, understand that uh, the challenges that the government is facing, it's, it's, it is also has to do with the external forces, which is beyond their control. But someone should not come here and start provoking you people are suffering in the compounds and communities to say, no, let's not talk about new uh, new prices, let's talk about something else. Of course, people are hungry, they want to eat. What else do, do you want them to talk about? You see? Mm. So, like you always say, me, I follow you. Mm. Uh, although we just follow you from the background, I'm calling from Kito. Mm. But the challenge that most of us have, we always want to take the bad side of something. Even you, most of the people here, mm. they, they've been saying you have been bought, mm. uh, the UPND has paid you money. In a, even if I don't know you, I mean, I've never spoken with you. I know it is politics, but you also have your own life to live. Mm. Apart from supporting uh, whoever you supported, but you also have your own life. And which is the priority number one? And no one should come in and start dictating or now should live your own life. No. Yeah. So on that one, I salute you and you are doing a very good job. But let's again criticize where we feel things are not going on well, especially on new prices. Mm -hmm. You know, the atmosphere here in Zambia at the moment is very bad. Me, I'm in Kitwe. And people, you, when you go on the ground, even you, Mr. Tayari, I'm sure you are ground people. Mm. You, you interact with the people on the ground and you, you know the message all over the country. The message is how best can this government reduce it? But they're not talking much about the fuel. Yes, the fuel we just import, you know, but uh, you know, we just uh, grow from this, uh, from our own soul, you know. And the government can do something about it, you know. And they can reduce the prices of minimum. Even in this coming uh, season, if at all the, the planning is done well, you know, most of us, we are afraid of being honest because we support this one. And just because I support HH, I cannot tell him to say the prices of minimum is, is okay. Uh, even just because I support Edith Karungo, I should do not tell him to stay away from politics. No. Huh? For me, I love Edgar Galungu and uh, I can openly say he's one of the people that did well. But again, him coming out of his house and start politicizing on things, he is a statesman. And uh, my advice to him is let's, let's, let him stay away from politics. There are a lot of people who can take over uh, PF. And they, they can even <coughs> compete very well with, uh, with the incumbent. Let him just uh, be a statesman. Let him just be counseling if the president, the incumbent, misses out on something. He can come in and advise. And that's 
what I would want from him. That is my my opinion. Mm. Um, even you, I'm sure you can continue giving credible checks and balances like you are doing. Mm. Except that uh, one one thing that I've seen, most of us want to hear what they want to hear from you, which is not to be, supposed to be the case. Yeah. Okay? Because you're also on your own, like you've been saying. No one can buy you, of course. Some of us, we know you. You're a very controversial person. Imagine. Eh? Very unpredictable. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> a very controversial tayari, and then you expect to... <laughs> no, we know you very well. Now, we all know you from a distance, but uh, we won't be here starting defending you. That is what I know about you. You speak, even in the time of PF, I remember the cases of Chibakabu uh, and everything. You came out very strong and something was done, mm -hmm. except that uh, you were vindicated because of other reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but again, you were very honest. There was nothing wrong there. As far as I know, you were speaking from your own point of view, and uh, some of us believed what you were saying. Yeah. Even when it came to... Uh, are, uh, hello? Yes, yes. Yes, about... Uh, uh, a level and a issue. For me, it, it was okay, but again, I got worried to say, okay, this is a former president that is trying to to, to drag into this, and uh, he, he needs to to remain as a statesman. You know, these are petty cases that they are having at the moment. Eh? Now, my um, master, it's because of the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, no, you want to come back into politics. You also, especially PF supporters, uh, you know, they want him to come back, but the situation doesn't allow him, and that is a fact. Mm -hmm. You know. No, thank you very much, my friend. Text. Thank you. All right, do and uh, well. Thank, thank you. you. Hello. I'm taking you as my last caller. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so, yeah, I'll want to call it one, but it should be cut. Yeah, unfortunately, the line is bad. I, I think, let me leave it there for tonight. Thank you very much for following me. I will come back on Wednesday when I will look at the budget and other issues that may, may, may arise between today and Wednesday. So Wednesday, 20 hours, I will be live. Monday, Tuesday, I'm not going to be live, but I'll be live on Wednesday. And uh, you can catch me then. We'll look at the budget and other issues that may, may arise. Thank you very much for now. Thank you for following me, especially those people in diaspora who have contributed, given us, uh, I mean, their perspective on how things are there, are out there. I'm, I'm very grateful. Remember, I want to emphasize that we live in a global village. What happens in other countries affect us. So we need to be very, very careful when we are, are criticizing and when we are looking for solutions. Remember, if you don't have, if you have not diagnosed the problem, you cannot have a solution. This is very important. If you have not diagnosed the problem, you cannot have a solution. You know, it is like when somebody is sick and you have not really found out what the problem is on that person, you are going to diagnose or you are going to prescribe wrong medicine. It is very, very important. I'm coming from the computer world. I mean, the, at, to solve a problem, we used to say solving a problem, when you, when you diagonize the problem, you have 70% resolved the problem. So if you have a wrong problem, you can never come out. So if you think that, you know, the cost of living and everything, the problem is HH, well, you could be right. But from my point of view, I think that, yes, HH has a portion where we need to blame him, but there are other factors that we need to consider. Much as HH is part of the problem because he's the president, 
But there are other factors that we need to consider, especially this aspect that we are living in a global village. What happens in other places affect us as well. So those issues, if we don't consider them, we will not have a solution. And uh, I want to I want to encourage, especially young people, that please let us look for the real solutions. President Ed Galungu is not a solution. It's not a solution based on the fact that he himself, Ed Galungu, cannot fight the political environment under which we are living in. President Ed Galungu so far has not shown me a strategy that really looks like it can win uh, the, you know, the political or can change the political landscape. President Ed Galungu, in terms of resources, I don't know if he has resources or he doesn't have resources, but really, if he has resources, this is a time that he should have, you know, used those resources. Fourthly, basically, you can't continue being, you know, uh, saying you are rebranding, you are going to do this, when you are surrounded by people, same people that actually led to PF losing uh, the elections. Over and above everything, we still have a situation where we don't know whether Valungu wants to come back or I know he wants to come back. But him coming out, declaring to say, yes, here I am. I'm a political player. So that even the issue of him getting the benefits can be removed. This is one issue that I'm considering. I'm, I'm trying to look at lawyers and see if we can take this case to court. The case only whether Valungu should continue receiving salaries or not. I'm looking at that and I might tell you on Wednesday. For now, may God bless you, may God bless Zambia and uh, remain well. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.